Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today I am taking you along with me to a church rummage sale. And this church rummage sale was actually part of a town-wide yard sale. I have a lot to share with you in upcoming videos, but today we're gonna focus on this one sale. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what the sale looks like, and then I'm gonna meet you back here and share the haul with you. Snowmen are cute. Hey, how are you? Yeah, you. We were just talking about you guys yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I see a table over here. Is there any cruel? Maybe. Looks like mostly just grains. I was hopeful. Do you guys see that? Look at the box there. That's definitely looking like uranium glass to me. All of these other pieces are buried on top of it. <laughs> Now I did just pull out a clear one that looks very much the same. We'll have to take a black light to this and see if it glows, but I'm hopeful. Even if it doesn't, it's still a really nice green. Oh, look at this. A 1970s bib. That is one stylish baby. That is so cool. Bit of Christmas down here. Let's see if they have any vintage. I'm seeing much. It's like one of those cut out Victorian things you can get on Amazon over there. It's cute though. Crystal. Oh, all these little kitty cat ring holders. Those are fun. And useful. I kind of like those. I'm not much of a jewelry person, but we'll take a gander here. Anything stands out to me? This is kind of pretty. I like the florals on it. Oh, it's double sided. It's cute. Earrings. No. Little butterfly brooch is cute. 
Do you like me some butterflies? My gold chain's kind of cool. More brooches over here. I like this floral one. Looks like a daisy. I usually save books for last, but there were a few more tables up the way. I just happened to be by them, so I took a glance. Aunt Chain of Kentucky. That one looks kind of interesting. Looks like a good story. Hmm. Might be a good one. Has a cute binding, nonetheless. So you think you know Maine. What is this about? Oh, this looks fun. <laughs> Probably gonna have to grab this. Oh, I see something on the bottom my boys will love. They had a really great time with St. Patrick's Day this year, so. Look at this. It's like one of those Betty Crocker style books. It's a handyman's book. Oh, that's so fun. I can't believe this has been sitting here the whole time I've been here and no one snagged it. You guys must know how excited I am to see this. This is fantastic. Wow. Some little golden books here. They look quite old. Let's see what they got. Yeah, they definitely have some age. Oh, that's just the back cover of one. Once upon a winter time. Oh, that's where the back cover goes. <laughs> oh, that one's pretty banged up too. That one's been well loved. Or maybe a little too loved. <laughs> All right. So that was a pretty fun yard sale. I was battling the rain that day. You guys might have already heard me mention that in previous videos, but it was nice that a many of the yard sales that day were inside. I ended up spending $20 total, just like a flat price at the end there. 
and so I'm not gonna say this is this, this is that for prices because it was $20 for the whole thing, okay? So I think this might be the first thing I saw on the table. It's this nice depression glass candy dish. It is a wedding box style candy dish, and I believe it was put out by Jeanette. It's in really good condition. You know, typical of depression glass, it has little random uh, imperfections, I guess, that was original to the manufacturing, like maybe a couple little extra pieces of glass, you know, nubs or a couple of weird little squiggly lines, but nothing major. A really beautiful ice blue here. I thought that was a really stunning piece. I do plan to resell this and I'll be asking around 25. So this next piece I really had to dig for. There was this box sitting on a chair filled with mostly clear glass. This one stood out because it was green and I was pretty sure that it was uranium glass. I'm like, that looks like it's gonna glow. So I did go to the effort to carefully move all the other glass around to pull it up. So there was a clear one. I did not grab that one. It kind of looked the same. So I kind of regret not getting that. <laughs> um, but I was just so after this piece, that's all I was focused on. It's just this really nice candlestick. And yes, it does glow. I'll show you here in a B-roll. So here is the piece as I saw it. You can pretty much tell when glass is gonna glow. And here it is with the black light shining. Look how great. Has a great throw with the light. So I'm glad I dug for it. I think it was worth it. It's in good shape. It has a couple of little imperfections, a couple of little like lines in the glass. Um, looks like original to the piece, but yeah, really cool piece and glows beautifully. I will be reselling this one as well. I then found this really beautiful Cerico wood bookend. It is a Irish point setter, I believe is the type of dog it is. There is just the one of them, but single bookends still sell. They're still totally usable. You have your shelf, you have your books, and you have this bookend. So use the shelf as the other bookend, right? Really cool. Also could just be used to display it this way because it's a really, you know, really pretty, almost looks like a statue that way, so. I think it's really fun. I do plan to resell this one as well and I value it at around 12. So on the table, they have this little bag of wooden kitty cats. I've seen these before. People will use them as a ring holder. Usually just put like one single ring on there. Like if you're gonna wash dishes or you know, you wanna take your rings off before a shower or before a bed or whatever. And they're super cute. There's a set of four here, various colors. I will show you up close here, but. Yeah, I thought that was fun to find those. I'm probably just gonna use these as a giveaway on my whatnot sales, you know, nice and light and still super cute and useful. So yeah, I thought that was fun to pick up. So I don't have super little ones anymore. You know, they're just out of that stage. And you know, so this is a little nostalgic and maybe a little weird to hang on to, but it's so my style. And you know, who knows what the future holds. So I'm gonna hang on to it but super cute. It is definitely handmade, you can tell. It has that really nice 70s, maybe even 60s fabric. And then this nice burnt orange towel uh, fabric on the back. So you can use whatever side you would like. It is reversible. I could not leave that behind. You guys know I couldn't. <laughs> and this next item, I was shocked was still there. I kind of walked through the door and I do a quick eye scan to kind of see which direction I should go in. I always do this. I kind of do a quick overview and see if anything catches my eye initially before I, you know, get started. And, you know, there was a crowd over in that direction, so maybe that's why I missed it. But I was so happy when I spied it and I was almost done. I almost went through all the tables and it was one of the last things I found. Isn't this amazing? Look at the size of it. <laughs> It is in two of my most favorite colors, very 1970s. We got this awesome textured brown owl there and the great like harvest gold mustardy yellow on the rest of it. <laughs> I think this is so fantastic. I'm sorry, I'll apologize ahead of time. I'm not letting it go. I'm gonna keep this one, but super good find. So this guy is kind of really large, so I'm not sure that if I'm gonna actually put it 
in this spot, but you know, I wanted to show it a little bit better here and kind of what it would look like and how perfectly it matches my decor. <laughs> so happy with it. I'll quickly share some of the books I picked up with you. This one was probably one of my favorite pickups. I didn't know this was even a thing. They had a handyman's book, Better Homes and Gardens, put it out. This is a 1950s edition, 1957, I believe is the year. It's in really good shape. And it's set up binder style, so it's kind of like the like Betty Crocker type cookbooks and stuff. So really fun. It has different tabs on it for the different, um, you know, different tasks you would have in home to learn about and, you know, home repair and such. But I thought that was, just look over. I thought that was a super find and they are valued between 15 to 25, depending on condition. There was a table with a bunch of little golden books. Well, it wasn't a bunch, it was like maybe a handful. And I only picked up one, I didn't wanna be greedy. <laughs> and I went with the one that was more farmy. None of them were really in fantastic condition. This one is even, you know, it's got some wear and stuff, but I figured the story was still in there. So I got the little galoshes, had farm animals in it, so I had to get that one. <laughs> the graphics are pretty amazing as well. Yeah, so I thought that was really cool. This one was a first edition from 1949. And, you know, they're only valued at about $5. Um, maybe up to 8 if it's in really great condition. But, yeah. I was happy with that one. This one was super fun. I didn't know they ever made anything like this. So this edition is Pop Rock Lyrics 2. This came out March 1970. So it has a lot of songs from that time and the lyrics in it, some artists and some pictures. And um, here's Bad Moon Rising, John Fogarty, which is a CCR, I believe. So, <laughs> but really fun. Um, see, I recognize anybody else. Got some pictures inside. Some great hair there. <laughs> Blackbird. And has the graphic there. Isn't that fun? I'd be interested. I just Donovan. I'd be interested to see what the first one was and if they ever made any more past this. I'd never seen those before. But yeah. It's a really fun find. So as far as books go, I'm not really into fiction stories that much. Every once in a while, something might catch my attention and sound interesting to me. But for the most part, I pick up just, you know, living books, uh, cookbooks, harvesting, anything to kind of do with the farm. Uh, I do vintage children's books. I like those kind of stories. They're short and sweet and usually kind of pure in nature. So I do like those. Uh, so I picked up a cookbook that kind of is based off of farm to table. So would also incorporate some gardening um, stuff as well. So I thought that would be really fun to add to my collection. Those are the types I tend to go for. Oh, strawberry shortcake. <laughs> I have my own recipe that I make, but man, does that make me want to make one right now. <laughs> it is strawberry season and I will be making one soon, but... I wish I could make it today. I don't have strawberries yet though. The other one I picked up is very similar. It's called Outstanding in the Field, a farm to table cookbook. So same kind of concept and kind of gives you recipe ideas to use to, um, you know, to make from your garden harvest. This one doesn't look like it has as many pictures in it. There is some, but you know, I like it when there's a picture to every recipe personally. <laughs> I always think when I read cookbooks like that and they didn't show the picture, I'm like, this must not look very appetizing. That's why they, you know, didn't share that. But, um, you know, the picture usually is what makes me want to make the thing. <laughs> I'm a very visual person. I did get a few pieces of jewelry. I got two more books I'm going to share with you and then I'll share the jewelry I did end up getting. So I picked up this So You Think You Know main book here. This looked very interesting. Me and my husband are both are like 11th generation Mainers. I mean, you know, we, we run deep <laughs> in the state. So this would be interesting to me and him both. And um, 
you know, maybe some things we don't know, some things we can pass on to future generations. And yeah, I just thought it'd be a super fun read for us. Has like little uh, like questions in it and stuff. And I like how they set it up. So I think that'll be super fun. Now the last book I got is a older style book and it's called Aunt Jane of Kentucky. The cover is beautiful. The binding is really nice. It has this floral detail to it. So it looks great on the shelf. I love that they used to put, you know, some thought into what the binding would look like because people put it on their shelf, they want it to look nice and also it's gonna stand out and help them be able to find, you know, the particular book they're looking for. Um, so I really like that they always did that. I feel like there's a lot of people that didn't really focus on the binding so much, especially in more modern books. And I just love the way they did that. Now this book, I looked it up just briefly to see what it might be about. And I guess it's kind of based on, or at least all the characters are quilters. And so, you know, it looked highly recommended when I did a little research. So I'm actually gonna give this a read. Um, because I, you know, step out of my comfort zone a little bit and check it out, summer reading time. And yeah, I don't usually read this style of book. And so I'm going to give it a try. Probably resell it after that, unless it's super good. And I feel like I'll read it again in the future. So this one is a Monet brooch. It is a dogwood flower. It has that white enamel and gold tone on it. it is marked Monet at the back. I really like this one. I really love the floral and the way the floral kind of had a little dimension and kind of swooped up at the edges. This one here is a Trifari brooch and is gold toned. It has some of the silver coming through. I don't know if that means the gold is worn off or if it was kind of like that, but I still think it's very pretty. It looks like it is some type of a branch here. It is marked back here. <laughs> Don't know if it's gonna focus, but it's marked back there with a trifari. Yep, cute little brooch. I did pick up the butterfly brooch. This one is hand painted, I believe. It's a little bit textured, so I think there's a little bit of an overcoating on it of some sorts. Um, really cute. So grab that one as well. This is some kind of a pendant. I just thought it was really neat. I love the florals on it. I figured you could attach it to a necklace and it's double-sided, so you can kind of switch it up um, depending on what you like. I'm a short flower that is. Those look like lilies to me. Not sure if that's supposed to be a lily or not as well, but really pretty. I like this side better. So what did you guys think? What was your favorite that I picked up? Did you see anything that I left behind? Maybe there's some jewelry pieces. I'll be the first of it. I don't know much about jewelry. I just kind of grabbed a few things I thought was interesting to me and thought some people would like. Um, yeah, that is gonna wrap up this video. I will very soon move on to the next video, which is the next yard sale I went to. And yeah, these townwide yard sales, I have quite a few. So I hope you guys are enjoying them and look forward to the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.